have located that which may be this world's last hope. Now, I entrust it to you. The scepter! The scepter of Trodane! Careful with that! It's full of hocus pocus! Don't touch it! There is no cause for alarm. The scepter no longer harbors Rapthorn's soul. Now it holds only the souls of the Seven Sages. Over the passage of its long history, the truth behind this scepter has been lost. In the beginning, it was crafted by the hands of the Seven Sages under my instruction. And they gave it a name. They called it the Godbird Scepter. You will need it if you are to break the dark shield around Rapthorn. Only when it is broken will he become vulnerable. Only then can you fight him. I will fly you to his location. The Lord of Darkness will engage you in mortal combat. But you must endure his attacks as you pray for the power of the scepter. When the four of you pray for its power in unison, one by one you will summon the souls of the sages to unlock the power of the orbs. I can give you no more advice. Do you understand what you must do when you face the Lord of Darkness? Then we cannot afford to delay this battle any longer. Are you ready? You must fight him now. Take the scepter. My beloved kin, we sages have done all that we can. Now our dear world, our future, lies in your hands. Protect it well. We will be watching you. Farewell, my beloved kin. Farewell, Imperia. and blood. You shall taste the terror eternal. Even death shall offer you no respite.
We done it, Gav! We only went and bleed and done it! At last, I can finally go back and tell Bangers and Mash it's all over. And I have something to tell Alistair, too. That he was right all along. I only made it this far because I followed my heart. Hmm. Who'd have thought we'd ever manage it? Hmm, should be an interesting anecdote for the ladies. I bet Grandad and the Orcs Princess would be having a whale of a time by now. They must be back to normal at last. <laughs> I'm half surprised the old codger ain't turned up to surprise us as usual. But even he couldn't spring up in a place like this, eh? <laughs> I transported your friends back to their homeland. Each one of you is a great hero. Yangus, Jessica, Angelo, and of course, you. I will never forget your strength and courage. You remind me of the Seven Sages. You humans never fail to surprise me. It is time to land. Your friends are eager to see you again. your friends again. Ah, oh, there you are. Welcome back. I saw you all in action. My wonderful men. You were magnificent. I ain't one of your men, Grandad. Neither am I. And I'm a free agent. Hmm? <laughs> of course, of course. But I suppose you weren't magnificent either. Wise bird! A god! I, are you leaving us already? This world is in no danger now. My path leads to other worlds. I see. Well, anyway, we are in your de- Wait a minute! Aren't you forgetting something? What about the princess and I? Hmm? Just how long are we going to have to suffer this outrageous curse? Well, the power of Rapthorn's curse is weakening. It will not be long now. Really? Splendid! I feel much better for hearing that. Well, I don't know where your next destination is, but take care. Is it uh, proper to tell a god uh, to take care? I am not a god, nor is my real name Imperia. These are but the names you humans have given to me. I was known by a different name in the land of my birth. There I was called Ramia, but now I must leave. Goodbye, brave humans. It has been an honor to have known you. Granddad, you're sparkling! <laughs> it's taken you this long to notice. A personality as rich as mine always sparkles. 
Nah, I mean literally. Take a look at yourself. Hmm. Ooh. I. I. I'm back to normal. I'm back! Finally rid of that hideously ugly guise! But you don't look no different! You look exactly the same as before! <laughs> what did you say? Are you blind? Dazzled by my striking appearance, no doubt. Wait! This is no time for an argument. Where's the princess? Where is my beautiful Medea? Hello, everyone. Medea! You're back! Oh, my beloved Medea! At last, at last, the curse is lifted. Everything is back as it should be. Father. Hey, look! My castle is back to its old self, too! Trodane is restored! The glory returns! Everyone, this calls for a banquet! Prepare a feast!
Hey, hey! Long time no see, eh? I ain't seen your muck since we polished off that fat geezer. I've been playing it straight, Guff. None of that dodgy business I was up to before I met you. Yeah, I've been doing a bit of trading, you know, bits and bobs like. Been sailing round and selling stuff in all the places we went to together. This bird, a uh, mate of mine's been bugging me for ages to help her with it. So here I am. You're looking at Yengus, the important exporter now. Anyway, I heard your big news. So you're head of the palace guards then, eh? Diamond. I'm well chuffed I can help you out on your first big job and all. And it's for none other than our darling horse print. Oh, listen to me. She ain't an horse anymore, is she? So we're escorting the princess to a wedding at Savella Cathedral, right? Oh, I don't know, though. Beats me why she's still marrying that charmless bloke. After all this happened. Oh, yeah. Nearly forgot. I was supposed to give you a message from this old minister I saw on the way over. Seems the princess is ready to deport now. So you can go and fetch her from a room like. I'll be waiting down in the courtyard then, eh? See you in a bit. Ah, it's been a while. I came as soon as I heard the news. So, it seems we'll have the honor of escorting the lovely princess. I just ran into Yangus, too. Same as ever. I'm a busy man, as you know. So I wasn't too thrilled at first at having to drop everything and come over. But it is good to see the old gang again. Anyway, are you really alright with this wedding going ahead? You don't have to stick around if it's too hard for you. Just do what you have to do, my friend. Like I did when I left the Abbey. Oh, <laughs> Angelo's so wonderful. You know, he looks after children who don't have anywhere else to go. Don't you? He says he wants to repay all the kindness Abbot Francisco showed him when he was all alone in the world. <laughs> Isn't he just the sweetest man you ever met? <laughs> hey, no need to tell the whole world. I have a certain image to maintain with my admirers. Well then, see you in a bit. I'll be down in the courtyard taking a break. Come and find me when you're ready. see how have you been you look pretty well that's for sure but how come you haven't visited me in Alexandria I've missed you you know I was planning to go off and live on my own but my mother was so worried I ended up settling down back at home I guess the time I spent away from her made us both realize what's truly important to us we get on really well now I'm not much of a replacement for my brother but I've decided to stay and look after Alexandria. With everyone's help, of course. But enough of that. Have you heard? Apparently Yangus and Red have teamed up now and they're doing something together. 
Can you believe it? Last I remember, they couldn't exchange two words without three insults. I wonder what went on between them. Huh? You're on your way to pick up Princess Medea? Yeah, I guess it's time to get going. Okay then, I'll be waiting for you down in the courtyard. I suppose this is the last time I'll play the piano like this in here. I wonder if there'll be a piano I can play in Argonia. Thank you for coming. Is it already time to leave? I asked the minister to have you call on me, so that we could take one last walk through the castle, alone together, just like old times. I know it's not quite time yet, but I wanted to say goodbye to you properly to thank you for everything you've done. The times I've spent here in Tredane Castle, with you, will be memories I shall treasure for always. I have to marry the Prince of Argonia to fulfill my royal duty. And you have to please continue to serve my father and protect Tredane, just as you always have. Oh, so then, shall we go? It won't do to keep people waiting too long. So this is Savella Cathedral. What a perfect place for a grand royal wedding. Excellent work, young man. You did an admirable job of escorting us. Your duty here has now been fulfilled. You shall stay the night at the inn and return to Tredane tomorrow. But I thought they'd all be attending the wedding. I'm sorry, Princess, but I'm afraid that won't be possible. Make your acquaintance indeed. I am Prince Charmley of Argonia. Goodness, you must be Princess Medea. Ooh, charmed, I'm sure. 
one look at you is enough to make me forget all the other beautiful girls I've ever met. <laughs> I'm the luckiest man in the world to have you as my wife. Blimey. What's with all the romance? I didn't know you had it in you, Charmless. It's Charmley. Oh, aren't you those servants from the initiation? Hm. No doubt you're here because you heard the news of my wedding. Well, I'm afraid this is as far as you can come. I can't possibly have commoners like you at such a grand royal affair. It's not as if you're aristocracy or wealthy or, well, anything. <laughs> That brat is unbelievable. Can't let us in on account of our being too common indeed. The preening little snob. It's been a while since the initiation, but he is still just as obnoxious as ever. And yet tomorrow, he's going to be marrying the princess. Can you believe it? Are you really going to let this happen? If you ask me... It's your duty as Chief of the Palace Guard to protect the Princess's happiness. Rise and shine, Gav. The princess will be getting itched in a bit. We've come all this way. We should at least try and get a glimpse of her all doled up. I'll go on ahead then, eh? I'll be waiting in front of that big church. I thought you weren't coming. The ceremony's already started. It's Bedlam up there with all those people. I doubt anyone would notice you among the crowd. The bride looks stunning. I wish I was more like her. I'm more interested in seeing the new Lord High Priest than the bride and groom. It's impossible to see anything from here. <laughs> Congratulations, Princess Medea! Congratulations, Prince Charles! Hey, stop pushing! What? Oh. There you are, Gav. I knew you'd turn up. Right, this way. Follow me. <clears throat> well, we've got this far. Now, we just have to take care of that knight. to me, Gav. Go on, in you go. Honestly, where has the princess got to? What could possibly be taking her so long? trying to ruin my wedding? I won't stand for it. Guards, get rid of him at once. Uh, 
excuse me for the interruption, Your Majesty, Lords, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, I have an urgent communicate with the King. What? Is this true? Ah! What is it, Father? Tell me at once! It seems the bride, Princess Medea, has disappeared. What did you say? I don't believe it. Well, she must have been kidnapped. It's the only explanation. Aha! Of course! It was you! This is all you're doing! He was jealous, so he kidnapped the princess. Seize him at once! Okay. Hey? What's going on, Gov? Where's the princess? What's happened to the wedding? Hey! Get over here! We've got trouble! King Trode and Princess Medea are surrounded by soldiers down there! You what? I don't get it! But we better get a move on, Gov. It don't look good. Stay right where you are! Do you think we'll just let you go after you ruin the royal wedding like that? Leave them to us. You just get the princess and King Trode to safety. Just in the nick of time, I knew I could depend on you. You have to take Medea and escape from here at once. I can't possibly let that awful Prince Charmless marry my beautiful Medea. My country's honor matters not one jot compared to her happiness. Please, take her to safety. My marriage was arranged by our two families long ago. I thought I had no choice but to accept it gracefully. I always resigned myself to it. I always saw it as my duty as princess. But I simply can't abide him. If it's a choice between marrying that twit and being a horse, you can make mine a grass sandwich. I can't live my whole life denying my true feelings. Take my hand and let's run away together. Please, take me away from here. you incompetent rogues! How could you be so remiss as to let a wagged wobble like them rout you, you rotten rascals? I should have known better than to entrust my princess's retrieval to a troop of reluctant waffnecks! Then why don't you go after them and bring the princess back yourself? But, but, but uh, I can't do that all on my own. I'll send the royal guard. Typical. You think that just because you're a prince, you can solve everything with money and power. But, but I got that huge organ heart during the initiation all by myself! Enough of your lies! 
I know the truth. me, Father.
It's been a long journey. A lot has happened along the way, but it's all worked out well in the end. Old obligations matter not one jot. What matters is being able to live a full and happy life. You should decide for yourself who you wish to marry. I won't rush you. Take as long as you need. Although, I don't know how easy it will be to find someone now that you've jilted a prince. Never mind that now, Father. Look, we're home. Home for good. Thank <laughs> you. 